wholesale finance opportunities. And so you see a lot of activity around that uh, based off of Ethereum or Ripple, uh, other or Ripple, uh, other. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. What's up, XRP fam? What's up, Crypto Ghost? It's the Bagman, the Moon Commander, back on the spaceship, chilling up here on Mothership 589. How's everybody doing out there? Appreciate you tuning in, smashing those likes for some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra bullishness. Go ahead and throw on them shades, buckle up, and let's go full speed full throttle into the crypto verse another bloodbath this morning cryptocurrency down 12.3 percent 1.68 trillion we got xrp still in that number eight spot 57 cents and the rest of the market is still in the red taking a look at xrp here last time we were in the 50s we'd have to go back down to june 2021 where we dropped down to about 51 the low 50s which took about a month or so and then we dropped down one more time again into the low 50s before we bounced out so xrp possibly some more so possibly one more move down for xrp down to the low 50s before we start marching back up into the dollar two dollar range we'll dive into the charts a little more towards the end of the video but with that being said tony edwards thinking crypto needs your help his youtube channel was deleted there's no warning or no strikes they just deleted it YouTube creators, this is not right. My channel was in good standing. Please restore. Breaking the SEC files motion requesting until February 17th, 2022 to file a motion for partial reconsideration of the DPP ruling and ask to file the 20 page brief and to submit more documents for in camera review in support of the motion to reconsider. The SEC seeks partial reconsideration of only a single aspect of the order relating to drafts and emails in connection with the June 14th, 2018 speech by Director Bill Hinman. The speech Ripple has objected to the SEC's request. Also, the SEC has requested an extension of time from Judge Torres to file objections to Judge Netburn's DPP ruling. The SEC had two different routes to take in response to Judge Netburn's DPP ruling. First, it could request that Judge Netburn reconsidered her ruling, or second, it could have filed objections to Judge Netburn's ruling directly with Judge Torres, which is basically an appeal, but both the motion for reconsideration and the objections have to be filed within 14 days of Judge Ned Burns original ruling. So what the SEC is doing is asking Judge Torres to wait until 21 days after Judge Ned Burns rules on the motion for reconsideration before the SEC must file its objections directly with Judge Torres. The SEC desperately try not to have to turn over those documents to Ripple. It's game over. Crypto Law US says, what is the SEC hiding? Their fight to stop the release of the Hinman speech documents in court has become a flashing red light. Enough is enough. Demand Congress to investigate the SEC. In 2018, then SEC official Bill Hinman gave a speech declaring that Ether is not a security. We believe current offers and sales of Ether are not securities transactions. He made us believe it was guidance to the market. It was the first time we had uh, expressed to the world that we didn't view Ether as a security. But Gary Gensler's SEC says this speech was not guidance. That's not what the markets thought. Uh, the SEC has started to weigh in just last week. Uh, uh, Bill Hemmen uh, communicated that Ether was considered a commodity, not a security. Even then, SEC Commissioner Robert Jackson made us think it was guidance to the market. He gave a speech where he laid out, here's how we think about this, um, and gave a set of principles that the market can follow. From time to time, the SEC does its best work, not through the cumbersome and formal rulemaking process, but instead by talking to the market. Help me understand how to do this right. And we're working on it. Hinman gave a speech. And all the while, Bill Hinman was being paid $15 million from a law firm promoting Ethereum. Then Hinman left the SEC to be a partner at the biggest crypto investment fund. Why did Bill Hinman give that speech? How many millions of reasons did he have? It's time for an investigation of the conflicts of interest by SEC officials like Hinman. Only Congress has oversight on the SEC. Demand your lawmakers support an investigation. Connect to Congress today. 
Jeremy Hogan says, the SEC won't win this motion, mainly because the evidence it wants to submit is not new. And in my opinion, the purpose is not to hide the emails from the judge that the cat is out of the bag. That leaves three possibilities. One, delay. Two, make a record for appeal. Or three, delay. <laughs> XRP, which is at the heart of the Ripple's payment system, is poised to crush the market in 2022. Clarity in the SEC case is bound to be good news for the XRP community. Insiders and legal experts agree that the final verdict or settlement is coming. Bags packed. Ripple's biggest victory allows the XRP holders request for unprivileged SEC meetings. Real boy XRP, if I had to guess, he says at the core of the systems are central banks. Also, he lets the Ripple slip. Wholesale finance opportunities. And so you see a lot of activity around that. Uh, based off of Ethereum or Ripple, uh, other or Ripple, uh, other Ethereum or Ripple, uh, other currencies like that, and 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 they may well have a role, but at the core of the system, those that know know loading up on those generational wealth bags. Network presents the Mine Runner, our play to earn blockchain game is built on the Unreal Engine and enables players to earn NFTs and tokens in an action-packed journey in the crypto mines of Network, the metaverse. I'll see you inside the network metaverse and taking a look at the market today you can see more blood in the streets usdt usdc the only ones in the green taking a look at the tether dominance we can see this spike here from 380 up to about 490 and if we take a look at the xrp chart we can see the opposite if we take a look at the previous low for the tether dominance we can see back in november 2021 it hit a low and if we take a look at xrp we can see around that same time xrp hit this top here and then we crash back down and since then november tether has been climbing back up and xrp since then has been falling down and if we go back one more level to this low back in april 2021 we can see this is where xrp april 2021 hit the top up here at two bucks and then we crash back all the way down into the 50s we tap 50 cents two times and if we take a look at the tether dominance tether began to pick back up as xrp fell down so the more the usd dominance goes up the more xrp falls so we're waiting on to see what this next move is taking a look at the tether dominance here on the hourly you can see we're still bullish so possibly some more downside for xrp and once this thing begins to fall watch out for xrp to pick back up hopefully we can pick back up to the previous all-time highs or at least get back up to these levels but we may have one more down tap here into the 50s so with that being said any red day is just the opportunity to load up on those generational wealth bags crypto bull says xrp most people sold here are you selling here jd says bottom was two cents off my xrp target almost to the t we can still reach that 52 cent xrp target i already warned y'all about these dips so no emotions let's go blockchain backer says what an overnight move hopefully that's it for this leg pro coin news wow that's pretty accurate the sec xrp taking the hits in the entire crypto market and the last one here we're built different 2022 noob traders panic sellers then we got the 2013 and the 2017 diamond hand holding strong loading up on those generational wealth bags I am the XRP bag man, the moon commander, currently up here on the mothership. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing the likes for some more moon o'clock news. I hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD, buy up that bag, and don't forget to spread that liquid love. Peace out, crypto fam. FUD in the streets. Samurai is getting bloody. Or should I say watery, my bags keep dripping And that FUD you keep slipping Opportunities missing and you just keep wishing While that price keep dipping I'ma keep getting, you tripping Back in my rocket, now we shipping We flipping, triple digits, now we win missing Rocket ship While my bags keep spilling I'ma make a killing And rebel drop dripping, dripping, dripping